rights of the homeland and making sacrifices for its sake. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, hold fast to Allah's rob altogether, do not split into factions. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companion, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Every homeland has lofty status in their hearts of its citizens. Their affiliation to their homeland is a nature distinct they are created, they are created with. Al Asma'i said, if you want to know how faithful someone is, observe his tenderness to his homeland and his longing for his brothers and for his best. To love your homeland and belong to it, it's a religious duty. Therefore, the Islamic Sharia pays much attention to deepen the affiliation and develop it. For example, when the Prophet وسلم, immigrated from Mecca to Medina, he looked at his homeland Mecca, saying, What a sweet town you are, and how dare you are to me. When the Prophet وسلم, reached Medina, he asked the Almighty Allah, saying, O oh Allah, make Medina dear to our hearts, just like you made Mecca dear to our hearts. And even more so. However, patriotism is not just a word to be said or a slogan to be raised. Rather, it's a conduct and sacrifice with everything that one owns. True patriotism means good loyalty, belonging to the homeland and keeping its security, stability, progress, and development. It means also the fulfilled commitment to its right and duties. One of the most important rights of the nation is sacrifice, sacrifice for its sake. It goes without saying that self-sacrifice is one of the highest level of sacrifice. As the Almighty Allah said, there are men among the believers who honor their pledge to Allah. Some of them, some of them have fulfilled it by death and some are still waiting. They have not changed in the, in the least. The Prophet wasallam promised those who defend their nation and sacrifice themselves for it, they, that they will be saved from the hellfire. When he, peace be upon him, said, there are two eyes which will never be touched by hell. An eye which weeps from the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and an eye which is spent the night on guard in Allah's bath. Therefore, those who make these sacrifices deserve to be chosen by Allah, be in the company of the prophets, the faithful, and the righteous people. Allah the Most High said, for Allah to find out who truly, truly believes, for him to choose martyrs from among you, Allah also said, whoever obeys Allah and the messenger will be among those he has blessed. The messenger, the truthful, those who bear witness to the truth and the righteous, what excellent companions these are. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad, his companion, and the people who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. One of the rights of the homeland that its citizen should defend it with all means available at the interest of their nation requires. If it's their responsibility to defend it with their lives in case of necessity, it is their duty also to positively participate in developing their homeland. And this is the least thing they can offer to their nation to prove their loyalty and sincerity. The responsibility of the homeland are not carried by one generation or by some of its children. 
away from the others. Rather, they are a shared process among all successive generations. Among the most important rights of the nation is diligence and hard work. The Prophet wasallam said, Allah loves who when someone works, he perform it in perfect manner. These duties also include fulfilling job duties. Public job are a great responsibility and it's a religion and national duty to fulfill one's responsibilities in his work. Negligence in performing one's duties is one of the most dangerous form of corruption. A person should always be mindful of Allah in his work. As Allah the Most High said, Allah is with you wherever you are. These duties also include respecting the country flag, national anthem, symbol, symbols, and all national slogans. The flag is emblem of the state and its image, which, which wraps all its children, which wraps all its children at home and abroad. It is under this flag they make their achievement and success. Thus, to respect it, it is a form of the pillar of nation building. Another duty. Another duty is to represent the homeland in the best manner in all events inside and outside the country in order to raise it among all other nations and countries. These duties also include not to allow any attack against its land and capabilities and to combat its enemies by all means, neither verbally or through self-sacrifice. We ask Allah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our country, Egypt, and all other countries of the whole world. Thank you.